What is up, ladies and gents? We are back. I'm the Guitarist562, and I do video game guides and walkthroughs. And in today's video, I am going to be doing um, a uh, skill specialization guide on the Great Sword. That's all I'm going to focus on. And let's get started. Skill specialization on Great Sword. I'm also doing this live, so that way people that I want to see right away in real time are seeing it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the skills. Let's go with the first skill, which is Valiant Brawl. Right here. Valiant Brawl. Now, the skill reads... Attacks three times in a row, each attack dealing 180% of the base damage. So let's go ahead. That's what it looks like. Normal. Not bad. Now, if I add more to it, it says... Um, after skills used, damage increased by 5% for 2 seconds, and aggression increases upon hit. And if you don't know what aggression means, aggression means that any enemies, for example, preferably tanks, and I mean um, bosses, they get their attention focused on you. So let's go ahead, that, that. So do you want to actually put invest these points? That will be subjective. Let's go ahead and reset everything. Attack three times in a row, blah, blah, blah. Every hit becomes a heavy attack. Okay. The remaining cooldown decreases by 20% if the attack lands as a critical hit or a heavy attack deals 144% base damage. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Didn't look too different, but the effects are definitely there. Next skill. Let's go with Stunning Blow. Skill cooldown decreases by 15 seconds, 15%. So let's go ahead and put that skill here. And just to show you what it looks like without stuff, it's 22 seconds. Looks like the cooldown reads. Let's double check. 21.5 seconds. Now with skill spec, let's see what that does. It says skill cooldown by 15%. We'll have that on. When you skill damage boost 15% for the next skill that is used within five seconds. So you have five seconds to land a juicy, meaty, fat skill. So, will that damage reflect in your personal profile? Let's find out once we have that on. Uh, increases aggression upon hit. A skill hit increases by 30%. So, let's say if you have a 1,000 hit, 30%. Do the math. You can do it yourself. Well, let's see if it actually reflects. I like seeing it on the character. And a stun duration decreases by one second. So, definitely useful to have. So, let's go ahead and see what our skill damage is currently. SDR is 355. Let's go ahead and stun it. SDR is 505 now. And do you remember what the second one was? Let's see. Skill hit by 30%. That's the next one we're going to check. So the, the skill damage dropped, as you saw right there, back to 355. So I'm going to go ahead and, ahead and stun it again. And let's see the jump. So from stun, it's going to go straight into the hit. 592, 572. So it doesn't show here, and it's one of those things I'm assuming that it's actually going to reflect an actual battle. All right, let's go ahead and remove that. Next skill, which is going to be Da Vinci's Courage. Now, Da Vinci's Courage says, for every party member within a 15 meter range, max health increases by 840, health regen, and attack speed by 15%. And that's really useful for stuff for the Greatsword because you like to attack extremely quick. So let's go ahead and get Da Vinci's Courage. Slap that on. Um, this is what it looks like normally. So look at my health. It's 17,410. Now it's at 1,800. And look at my attack speed. is at 20%. Now once the thing runs out, it's going to disappear. But you see how it's still going? Because even though um, it says it lasts for 12 seconds, I'm assuming you, even with buff duration as well, it would last a lot longer. We're going to go ahead and double check that and confirm. Now, the next thing, what's up, Itchy, by the way? Uh, the next skill I'm going to showcase is, so it said 12 seconds. It says effect duration increases by three seconds. And damage reduction increases by additional 25. That's not bad. And recovers health by 200% of base damage. So turn that off again. Let's see how long it lasts. 
12 seconds no se it was uh, 18 seconds because of my buff duration so if i have um this along with the next skill i'm assuming it would be like 21 seconds so let's go ahead put that on it says uh here's another thing applies we can frost to a target within a five meter range uh at 10 it says decreases the movement speed Let's see. Increases max HP, blah, blah, blah. Applies weakened frost to target. Area decreases the movement speed by 5%. At 10 stacks, uh, applies uh, bind icebound to the target for 3 seconds. So let's go ahead and pull this up right here. Okay. Yep, 23 seconds right there. And looks like I applied an effect as well. And that's not bad either because when you have that, um, when you look over here, um, it says the cooldown is 40.4 seconds. And the funny thing about cooldowns is because this is active for such a long time, it's not actually reflecting the actual cooldown because once the effect ends, I feel like the cooldown's really only like 20 seconds because like right, right there, it just ended. So that's what the great sword thing does. Uh, damage reduction, if you know what that means. DR means when you're getting incoming attacks, uh, it reduces the amount of damage that you are taking. Recovers health by 200% of base damage plus 200. So if I'm hurt, I'm sure I don't need to explain that. Okay, next one. Devastating Tornado, which is really dope. Um, it says attack speed increases by 100%. Attacks every enemy within a 12 meter, uh, 12 consecutive times, dealing 63% of base damage. When hit, damage increases by 8% and applies weakened. Speed decrease, decreasing the target's movement speed by 5%. Um, binds for 3 seconds at 10 stacks. Ice bind, bind duration increases by 0.2 seconds when frost is applied to a frozen target. Attack speed increases by 16% and can pass through the enemy target. So along this with this, let's see. I like this. Increases all CC resistance by 200 while using the skill. Skill cooldown decreases by five seconds. Deals bonus damage equal to 18.9% of the bound target. So let's go ahead and use Da Vinci's Courage along with Devastating Tornado. Let's see what that looks like. Ah, shoot. Gotta be careful with that. I can't, you can't just double tap the button. If you do, then you're not gonna see the effect. Come on, come back, come back, come back, come back. And there you go, it's done. So, we got to see the cooldown there. Let's go ahead and remove this real quick and see what the actual cooldown is. So, normally it's, uh, 13.5 seconds. And there it is, 13 seconds. So it's true to what it's doing. And let's go ahead and check it out with five seconds reduced. I like it though, especially with the attack speed. So my attack speed right now on this build is 5%. Let's go ahead and throw it on. You gotta notice that a lot of these things are uh, happening also passively as you're moving along. So like my movement speed, look, check it out. And this is kind of like where you see like your CC resistance and stuff like that. All right, let's go ahead and look at the next skill. I like this a lot. I like this. Ascending Slash. So the way it looks by itself. Like this. Which is really good for combo chains. Um, you'll stun someone, hit them with the Revalian Brawl, then follow it up with like an Ascending Slash. There's so many different uh, combo variations, but that's just one of them. And let's see. Uh, Rush it to the designated target, dealing damage equal. So let's see what that looks like. So if it rushes, okay, that was nutty. Oh my God, that was nasty. 
what? That is uh, that is terrifying. Let's go 13 meters. It says 13 meters is the range. So we're going to wait those uh, 10 seconds and then see what that does. Greatsword dagger is absolutely fucking terrifying with that one. Let's see. Skill damage boost for the skill used next within the five seconds decreases by 250. So pair this up with stunning blow for five seconds. You have like a two second window where you have an extra 350. Um, well, let's see if they stack. So. All right. So I'm at 13.5. I don't see it. Okay. So it definitely rises. Uh, skill damage boost went up to 605 right here. So it is there. Um, let's go ahead and see if they stack. Because that's, that's the big questions that we want to know. Let's see. Okay, so it was a uh, 605. Boom, boom. Skill damage boost is still at 605. So they do not stack. Or maybe I did something wrong. Let's double check. Or maybe the bigger number actually stacked. Or maybe it does stack. You just can't see it. All right, let's go ahead and see it. Um, let's try this one more time. It's a weird combo, but it can work. So this is my skill damage boost right now. 355. 505. But because like, it's the next skill. So the next skill is 605. Because the way it reads is, is the next skill is going to be hit with that amount. So obviously they can't stack. It's not saying it, it, it won't, it's just the next skill hit is going to hit for that next amount with that skill damage boost. Did I explain that right? Hopefully I explained that really well. Yeah, I'll just read it. When you skill damage with 150% for the next specific skill that is within five seconds, and that applies for the next, same thing with this one. So kind of useful if you have like a specific skill that you want to have and your combo chains, and then you just kind of like... You'll use a stunning blow and then use like death blow. And then afterwards, uh, you're after your death blow, you want to keep them in a, in a CC chain, then you use ascending slash and then afterwards follow it up with like Gaia crash. Now that's what it means. I just read it. I misunderstood it wrong at the, at the beginning, but it's fine. I'm just trying to explain it for you guys to kind of make sense of it. So duration increases by one second. Skill cooldown decreases by 15%. So kind of like an example of what uh, the way you would do something like this is, let's say, where's Devastating Blow? Guillotine Blade. All right, that, that works. And then Da Vinci's, I don't need that. Death Blow. So you go like... You see like that? Because that way, the, the person that you're PvPing, is, they stayed stunned. And at the same time, they're taking all that extra damage for free. So, there's so many different ways, obviously, with SNS Greatsword. But, like, uh, Greatsword Dagger, there's so many more opportunities. Like, honestly, I feel like with all these stuns, S a Greatsword Dagger is probably one of the... I, I, the way it's reading, it's going to be, like, S tier. You're just going to shut people down. Especially with these stuns. Like, anybody that you touch is going to be deleted from the game. Like, if you get stunned, it's game over. Unless you have, like, uh, like what I have. Like, the CC immunity thing. All right. Blood Devotion. It says, a special skill, skill that can blah, blah, blah. Take 40% of the damage intended for the designated party member. So, you're taking damage from someone else. So this is kind of good for tanks. Let's say I think I'm guessing in large scale it says within a 15 meter radius for six seconds, only 100% of the damage just, uh, that you that person took is applied to you. Effect duration uh, lasts for three seconds more. Transfer damage increases by 30%. Increases damage flow to the connected target by 50%. Unfortunately, I can't explain this one to you all that well. I haven't had time to practice this, so I'm not even going to pretend like I know what that is. Now let's look at the next one. Uh, we already saw precision dash, but let's go ahead and do it again. So 
says has 80 percent chance to bind targets very useful for pvp range 20 percent love it has 80 percent chance to decrease the target shield block chances good for other um fighting other tanks and heavy attack duration increases by 1.5 seconds now what does that mean let's read it and i'll explain it to you rushes to the designated direction dealing damage equal to 110 percent of base damage to the minimum maximum of six enemies on the path and increases magic melee and ranged heavy attack attack chance by 140 for three seconds so after you connect that hit your next hit is going to have a higher chance for heavy based off of those seconds and it says right here that um if you have this skill you're increasing it by 1.5 seconds more so it's 4.5 seconds now that's not including buff duration on your actual character itself so let's go ahead so this is my heavy attack chance right now so you can see 434 226 see right here did you see that i just disappeared so now i'm gonna go ahead and add that to make it last a little bit longer so you can see it see 366 366 and 574 and it's gone so it's supposed to be three seconds um but with buff duration, I'm sure it lasts longer. So let's go ahead and look at the side. Yeah, seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. So it's supposed to be 4.5 seconds. But this is why buff duration is such a big deal in the game. Seven seconds. Yep. Okay. Definitely important. Because one thing about this game is heavy attack chance is the difference between allowing your enemy a chance to heal or not to heal. So... Uh, definitely um, make sure that you use your combo chains correctly for that stuff. All right, death blow damage increases by one hundred percent. Let's go see and see the difference on that. So this is what death blow looks like without any buffs. Twenty seven fifteen. I did not crit. Um, again, my current stats are pretty poor right now. Hold on, let me reset all this just so, for the sake of the video. Ah. Okay. Obviously, this is a terrible build. Don't do this. I'm just doing this so I can have some more crit. Whatever. That's fine. Anyway, let's move on to the next skill. So you saw that damage increased by 100%. So it's 2715. Let's go ahead and hit it again. 3281. And it looked like it turned into a holding skill. So let me hold it next time. That's great. However... It makes you wonder who's going to sit there long enough to be hit like that. With your stun, sure, maybe. That's 10,000 right there. I don't know if you saw that. That's ten. That's 10k. That's not a lot, you, you might think. But with Stellarite, along with your skill damage, like for example... Where is it? Let's go ahead and look at the skill spec. Ascending slash. Let's do this one. Look at that. 6,350 right there. See? So that one skill alone with that can probably just one shot multi. You, you just one shot someone and move on to the next guy. Uh, skill cooldown decreased by 15%. Damage up to a prone target increases by 30%. That's really good because what that prone target means is on the great sword you can kick someone down on the ground, or you can use your sending slash, um, causing prone. So, for example, to give you an idea of what that will look like, let's get rid of that skill. Let's do shock. Technically, it would have been prone right there. 
Um, but I'll show you after. I'm gonna leave this area so you can actually test it on some dummies. It says you just link to someone absorb certain amount of damage he takes. Yeah, I, I figured that's what it is. I just I I only want to talk about things that I for sure played with and tested. And for sure, I, I've I've used it before, but I'm not comfortable, you know, telling people what that actually does. This stuff, I've everything that's a damage skill, I've definitely tested it before and had fun with it. But yeah, I definitely like this uh, holding skill. It's gonna be a lot of fun, especially when that with that heavy attack chance too. Like if you go slide in with your uh, precision. Will that last seven seconds? And for those seven seconds, you can actually go ahead and do um, extra damage because your heavy attack chance is much higher. I can only imagine like how frustrated the next person's gonna be because like think about that. Like to see, um, rush to the designated target and ra melee range to heavy attack chance uh, 140 for three seconds. Let's go. Let's go ahead. Like you know. No heavy that time, but it's there. Well, it was there. Did I not put it on? Hold on. I did not. Ah, oh, there we go. Well, that's happening. Let's go ahead and look at the next skill. Malgan, are you still here? Just curious. Nice. Have you seen all this stuff already? Yeah, I love guillotine, but that's going to be uh, the last one. I'm going to check it out right here. Now let's check out Gaia Crash. So Gaia Crash, if you don't know what that is, it is this skill right here. That's the skill right there. Now, if you have this sword right here, it says Gaia Crash attacks the same location four times instead of moving forward. La last attack range is 33%. That's what you saw right there. Now let's look at the skill spec. Okay, let's see. Deals 428% of base damage to every enemy within a three meter radius. Um, if target is affected by buying icebound, they take 531% more damage. Attack speed increases by 15% for 3 seconds after using the skill. And skill critical hit increases by 300. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So I'm not sure what happened there. I didn't see anything. And my guy crash isn't doing the thing. Okay. Oh, let me make a Discord. Oh, shoot. You're in the <laughs> Discord. <laughs> hey, Mal. Let's see. Let's see it. Everyone live currently. Don't miss it. And let's go ahead. Let's see. Will Breaker. Guillotine Blade is a huge damage when someone is prone. It doesn't stack with the weapon change. It doesn't? That's unfortunate. What do you mean by that? It doesn't stack with this stuff right here? Oh, okay, see, there was a four hit right there. So I think you're right. I think that's what you mean. I think it's better not to use the ice version of Gaia Crash. And this is why I like... Sometimes I, I enjoy making these videos because, one, I do help people with the knowledge that I end up learning and I, I try sharing it. But I also like crowdsourcing an information network where people can correct me if I'm wrong because it just means we're just going to fix each other in the process and learn a lot faster because there's some things that I have I can test but then I, I have an understanding versus yours okay yeah you're absolutely right that, that was horrible so I think non using the ice version is definitely better I agree with you there because I've seen so many people die in PvP why buy this actually because of the four ticks so don't use the ice version. Uh, definitely, kick. attack speed is really big for um, guy crash. Definitely like that. Now let's look at will breaker.
Will Breaker says, if you didn't know before, it was one of the best things for PvE because it provides a defense down on the boss. So it says, I'll read it to you. Deals 100% of base damage. A magic melee and range defense down by 600 for 6 seconds with buff duration that lasts a lot longer. Um, and now with uh, this, these new buffs, let's see what else it says. So we already knew that. So it does more damage. I don't care about that. What is the difference? It literally says the same exact thing. Did did I am I reading something wrong? It it says the exact same thing, right? Oh, let me slow down. Deals 100% of two damage to all enemies within a three meter semicircle at the target location. Oh, there's the difference right there. Semicircle at the target location versus within a three meter radius area. All right, let's go ahead and test that. These small little things, details people can miss. That was not the skill. Where is it? Will Breaker, there you go. Oh yeah, yeah, there you go. That's what you're talking about. See, before it was in front of you, exactly like you said, but now that was a 360. Good for PvP. I can see how that would be good for PvP. You could just like defend down everybody in an area. It says upon hit the target's magic melee and ranged evasion decreased by 300. So this is good. So that way it can help other people get hit by the targets. One hit. The gr I wish this would be a lot better if it had the same range as the SNS um, annihilating slash right here. Um, I would even see, go as far to say increase the mate range by three meters because look at how small that range is. And and, and in the large scale war, it's not big enough. It, it, you need more like to hit multiple targets, especially like you already you already have to chase people down enough. Like you don't have the luxury of SNS. I mean, of, of staff dagger, longbow dagger or wand dagger or just wand. Um, so being this way, you can help out your general area. Let's take that off. And look it down. There you go. You can see the actual area right here. See that? It's half circle. You can keep the half circle though for bosses. You don't need anything more than that. All right. Now let's look at the last one. We have a uh, devastating smash. It says the stun chance decreases by 15% and stun duration by five seconds uh this thing's fucking insane i love it probably one of my my favorite skills so far like look at that <laughs> that's that's insane and then you can go stun okay now let's see the last one so that's what that did i'm gonna read it to you it says jump at a target and slash down with a great sword dealing damage equal to 230 percent plus 49 to all targets within three meter radius has a 42 percent chance to stun the target for two seconds now that doesn't mean it's always going to stun but if it does that's going to be nasty um here the stun chance increases by 15 percent so 42 plus 15 that's 7 plus 10 so that's 57% chance. So it's like 50 50. Um, honestly, I just roll with the 42% because it's still pretty high enough. For and most of the time, you're just going to use this to try to catch somebody. Last skill Guillotine Blade. I've showed you this skill before, but I'll do it again. This is Guillotine Blade. One of my favorite skills. It's probably one of the best skills, in my opinion. Um. But yeah, let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and see uh, the skill spec. It says 
Deals 630% base damage uh, to prone or shock targets. On hit, weakens the target, decreases incoming heal. Which is this is actually really good fighting against uh, wand users. Uh, I've died to this guy, this this attack many times, because once they hit me with it, um, I can't heal myself properly. Um, so it, it is definitely a nice uh, debuff to have on pl players in proportion to the collection time. So it says in proportion to the collection time. So I'm guessing this is what it turns it into a holding skill. Nope, didn't turn into a holding skill just yet. Let's go to the next one. It says skill cooldown decreases by 15%. Inflicts 630% of base damage to a 3 meter radius area around the target if the attack is critical or heavy attack. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. <laughs> oh my god. That... That was nasty. It's just, I've been doing this come up to a high HP target, Shadow Strike, Gaia Crash, Stunning Blow, Death Blow, Devastating Smash, Ascending Slash, and finish off with Guillotine Blade. Yeah, I kind of want to showcase uh, the Greatsword Dagger and stuff, but that'll be for another video. But, like, you could definitely do this stuff. Like, you can Shadow Strike into a, a, a kick but if not let's see let's do th this into where is death blow guillotine blade death blow and then into charging slash into gaia crash and then you want to keep stunning people so let's go here and then finish off with this like this alone right here is like a combination that you can have. You can just go. <laughs> like look at that. That that right there. Uh you're you're stunned forever. And I, I'm not even using the greatsword dagger seals either. And I'm not even using the chain right here. Which also adds like a bind. Not to mention, Han, there's even more too, because I forgot one thing. There you go. So if you remember with the skill spec, you could chase someone down and bind someone. So you can go. I don't like that. They need to fix that. They, they, well, what is that? They need to fix that. So I just like charge past it i'm not gonna normally just go straight to the person oh i know why i do not want this where is it no i like this i just don't want to hit other people okay let's try that again are you gonna make a video for launch yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, I will make a video for that. Let's go ahead and try this again. I think I just have to tap precision dash twice. Yep. Oh, yeah, this is nutty, dude. Hold on, let me do it on this guy right here. This guy has no idea what's coming to him. It's about 10 seconds, you'll see. So it looks like you have to hit precision dash twice and go in. Oh, I didn't hold it. Jesus. Look how much damage I did to the dummy right there. Oh. Let's go ahead and do another dummy right here. This dummy right here. So he has basically eight. You know, right here. No, no, no. This one. Which one's? This one's almost dead. Waiting for 10 seconds for the rest of the cooldowns. I didn't know that you can reuse it though. That's that's something new. All right. This has 945. Let's see how much damage I do. So 945 
and now so 11k put me at 920 that was a lot all right let me see if i can get sneaky and see if i could find someone in castleton almost dead just 98k hp by the way i, I didn't maximize this whole thing either But I would say those are all the great sort of specialization skills. Um, if you want to fight people with it, especially like these are just three different stun skills. We got one, two, three, plus a bind right here, which is four. Not to mention you have shadow strike, which is five. And then also uh, the kick, which is six. So that's a lot of, uh, let's see. That's unfortunate. You can't stun her. Oh well. Not to mention you got your attack speed as well. We're going to do one more before I end the stream and end the video. Because I do want to upload this. And then afterwards I can probably do some more PvP videos with this stuff. But can everybody who's here. It says we have 14 people right here at the moment. Can everyone just type one in the chat real quick. Just to see if everyone's active. So just to double check if everyone's here. That's one right there. I know a couple other people here. Well, since you're the first one, um, I did say I was doing a giveaway and the giveaway for the pre-release is going to be going to you. Um, I want to be <clears throat> honest to the first person that's participating. Like I always said, the giveaway is going to go to the first person that, well, just someone that's watching the channel, someone that's subscribed to the channel, someone that's in the discord and you have always been supporting for such a long time. So there you go. I will give the first $40 giveaway to Mario Garcia. So I'll DM, I'll DM you on Discord the details and buy it off of you on Steam. And then potentially next week, I'm doing another giveaway for the, um, the thing. So let's do, the, let's do this. One million. Let's see how much damage I do. Okay, so 962. So that put me at 48,000 damage. So that's how much damage I would be doing on a pl I, I would be doing on a player. So can everybody? Yeah, everybody can celebrate for uh, Mario Garcia here. Can I get some? What what what, what, do, what do streamers say? W's in chat. <laughs> how do I? Man, that's one thing I can never fully be a, a streamer for this. Let's see. Should I do? All right. Let's see if that works. I just made a poll. Does that is that active? Well, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to be and I'm going to still continue the live. I'm just going to end the video recording so I could upload for YouTube. So thank you guys for watching and don't forget to miss out on next week's um, giveaway. Remember, you have to be a YouTube uh, subscriber and in the discord because the money that's going for these giveaways is all strictly coming from people that watch the channel uh, for the month of August. I should be getting a nice little fun money of about like 160 just passively. Um, so I want to give back to the community that way because I just do this stuff for fun. I, you know, it's literally just for fun and it's appreciation for you guys because the things that I don't know, people always come back and give to me. So thank you guys. And as always, stay blessed.